Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I want to tell you what's new about the camper or should I now say Dometic awnings for 2021. So that's the first change that camper as you may know it has now changed to Dometic for the awnings. So all the pro awnings and all the awnings you've known as camper before are now Dometic um, as from a, a buyer at the Dometic bought camper a few couple of years ago. Um, so they've updated a few features. Um, so they've sort of made the range a lot easier to understand to a certain degree. Um, but obviously I'm going to show you those features now. Um, so one of the main biggest features that they've brought into their awnings is the ability to allow caravan awnings to fit more motorhome awnings and to have a different height range. So caravans, the rail height on a caravan tends to be between 235 and 250. And most awnings always, caravan awnings will always fit that. So they still have those awnings. Um, and then obviously motorhomes tend to go up even higher from there. Um, so what they've got now is three different sizes, an S, an M and an L. Okay, so a S, so I'll put these dimensions below the video as well, in case I get them wrong. S is 235 to 265. Then you've got M is 265 to 295. And then you've got L, which is 295 to a little bit more. <laughs> Can't remember the dimension. So it's a little bit bigger, so that'll be below the video. But they are really big motorhomes that would have that L size. So you'd probably find if you're looking for a motorhome morning, you'll be in the S or the M, roughly, but it's worth checking the measurement of your rail. And if you're a caravan, you would probably, well, you are going to be in the S category. So the difference is, okay, so when you buy an awning, you're looking for the S or the M. But the difference is now that it goes from 235 to 265 on an S. So that is because of this zip here. So there's a zip here. So on this awning here, obviously it would be connected to a caravan or a, or a motorhome, hence this rail. This zip here is where you can unzip it now, like you have here, to extend the material. So this now goes higher. So for those motorhomers that obviously want to have a caravan awning on there, they've now got that ability that they can sort of fit in a better range. So this awning will fit more models, more motorhomes, more caravans, and so on. So it sort of makes it a lot simpler uh, for everyone, really. So all it is, is if you're obviously a caravan, you probably wouldn't, ha you'd have it zip closed. If you're a motorhomer and you needed a little bit more height or you're on uneven ground, you just simply open that zip up, okay? And that just gives you a bit more material. But what you also have is these Velcro bits here on the outside and there's Velcro on the inside as well. So that is what's stopping that from going even higher. So there's Velcro there. So really quite simple, effective way of making an awning go up higher if you need it to. That also means that there's still obviously the, the pad pole, uh, cushion pads on the inside. So you can uh, still keep that nice and tight to your van. And they've also added the ventilation uh, pockets uh, at the top there. There's always been ventilation up there in the previous years, but they've now added a bit of a pocket over there with a little pole just to allow for more air to flow up into it and into the awning to help uh, allow more airflow. So we've also got four and six mil beading on there. So you can have it uh, in a cassette rail uh, if you've got a wind out awning on your motorhome or a normal six mil uh, uh, awning rail. Um, we've got the veranda bar in here. So you've got these little, little bits of um, veranda sort of uh, little pockets here just to put this veranda bar. So as you can see, we've actually wound the, uh, the current panel into the, the bar, which is quite nice. So keeps it neat and tidy and somewhere to do that, rest that, or if not, you can just use it to hang accessories on. 